What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you the very next installment of the Let's Play Town Hall 10 series. And I do have quite a few updates. The village is slowly but surely looking a little bit more like a Town Hall 10. Have not dropped Inferno Towers yet, but we're going to go ahead and cover what I've upgraded since the very last um, video that I did on this. So we'll go ahead and start off, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and start off, let's go and start off in the lab. Uh, since we last did one of these, I did get golems done. So I farmed up enough dark, I believe it was 100, it was either 90 or 100k dark to get the golems thrown in the lab. So those finished, those are absolutely amazing. We obviously did the hounds and the bowlers already. So we do have three of the major war dark troops completed. Valks and hogs are still pending. And I've done four levels of freeze. And actually, if we look right here, if we look in the lab, I just, before I even, before I even started this video, I actually just threw freeze in the lab. As you can see right there, it was 14 days, so I threw that in. I don't know why I didn't, I should, I should have done it in the video, but you guys get the idea. I did that about eight minutes ago. And yeah, that's 14 days, so any of these upgrades where you're gonna be maxing out the troops, I also know, so after that, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do Valkyries. Those are also 14 days. 110 dark won't be too hard to grab, but that's probably what I'm going to do. And li like I had said in the past, I'm basically doing one dark troop in the lab and then an elixir troop or a spell and then vice versa, just going back and forth. So after freeze, I'm going to go ahead and throw Valks in. And as far as the Archer Queen, look at this bad bitch right here through her. And she is going up to level 39 if you see right there she is 38 going to 39 which is absolutely incredible one more aq level i'm not even sure how much dark it is for level 40 but when that finishes i'll definitely be sharing that with you guys so just one more level for aq and and then i'll start working on uh bk and he's pretty cheap too to start out so he'll be going to level well, let's see, BK level 31, it's only 144 dark, so it's really, it's really not too bad. And he gets, you see, he starts to get pretty beefy too, as you work your way up. Can't imagine how it's going to be playing with 40-40 heroes. So that's pretty much wraps it up for the troops. Um, as far, let's go ahead and check out my favorite base here. Actually, this is actually a little remix um, that I did just to make it a little sim, uh, you know, just a little bit more simple, uh, breaking everything down. So basically over at nine o'clock over here where the town hall is, that's basically all my stuff over there is completed. It's pretty much everything that's done. Obviously the town hall, the clan castle, the mines and the pumps that are done, uh, the dark elixir drills, all these traps have all been completed. All my bombs have finished. The Teslas, those are Town Hall 10 max. Army camps, those are maxed out. Obviously, it'd be nice, but you can't upgrade Builder Huts. So obviously, the Builder Huts are done. And air defenses. So I have three of I have three of the air defenses maxed out for Town Hall 10. And this one has, a, I, I believe it has, we can go back and look at the other village, but this one has, um, I think, like a day and a half. So I'm actually going to have a free builder here pretty quick. And as far as the expos, I did drop, since the last video, I did drop the third expo that you get at Town Hall 10. And right now it's level two, so it is going to Town Hall 9 max, where the expos are probably going to stay for a while, as I do want to be a lighter Town Hall 10. So I do have that expo done. You guys already know what this is going to be for. That's obviously going to be for the Inferno Towers once I drop them. It's not going to be in this video though, but it is going to be very soon when I drop my first Inferno Tower. And I did drop my second to last defense, which was uh, the Bomb Tower. So that's going to level one. As you know, in the CWL, you can't have just one bomb tower at Town Hall 10. They all everything has to be equal. So, you know, we're not going to do like, you know, engineered or well, not that this is engineered, but you know, where you just try to play with the weights. You know, I've seen some bait, I've seen some damn near max Town Hall 10s that are actually at the bottom of the map 
solely based on the fact that they didn't drop the bomb tower as it is very heavy, maybe a little bit too heavy. But at any rate, haven't touched any of the archer towers, cannons, wizard towers. Those are all Town Hall 9 for the time being. Everything up at 12 o'clock is what I have to upgrade. I do not have miners yet, so I, I will be upgrading one of the you know, the regular barracks here pretty soon. I do have one of the dark barracks done. So anyway, th this area right here is just everything that I haven't touched yet that I have to upgrade. Spring traps, seeking air mines, the new pump and mine. I've just been putting my builders on other things. So, that, you know, so, you know, this stuff has basically just been on the back burner. So yeah, that basically wraps up that section. Uh, just going through what I've upgraded since the last video. I do have a few, how many of these bad boys do I have? I have like seven of the ma magma walls done, uh, magma walls done. Uh, those are level 11. So yeah, I mean, it, it's, I'm definitely making progress. I mean, I've, I've been to town hall 10 for about, I don't know, five weeks, something like that. So the farming has been very good. As you see, I have no dark elixir because I upgraded the archer queen. And yeah, so let me see the, and one thing that I am going to be doing, this thing down here has been staring at me forever since I went to town hall 10. And for those of you wondering this town hall 10 pack, this four times value pack, it does not go away. So if you are going to be upgrading to town hall 10, don't worry. If you think that you, you know, that this is going to be a limited time offer, this package does not go away, which is very cool. And if you look at the gems and the gold and the inferno tower that you get, when you think about it, it's already 20 bucks to buy 2,500 gems. So to me, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost like a no brainer. I mean, so basically you're getting 6 million gold for free and you're getting a level two inferno tower and you don't even have, you know, you don't even have to upgrade through, you know, where you have to drop it. You don't even need a build. You can have all of your builders tied up. You can have all five of your builders tied up and you can still buy this package and drop that inferno tower. So we'll probably be doing that in the next episode. So definitely stay tuned for that. As far as, I know a lot of you guys are wondering, as far as farming goes, uh, it has been really well. And if you notice the league I'm in, I'm actually in masters. I, I goblin knife my way basically from silver all the way, all the way to masters. I don't even know what happened. I just kept doing these raids, kept winning them, whether I'm getting one or two stars and not, you know, I don't, I don't lose many of these attacks and I mean, usually to stay down the low leagues, if you're constantly farming, constantly attacking, especially with Goblin Knife, since you're winning most of these raids, you have to dedicate some time to trophy drop. You know, you have to put like 10 minutes, 15 minutes off to, off to the side just so you can drop, you know, your king or your queen, uh, you know, on, on, a, on a map and the battle and just constantly drop trophies in order to stay down um, in that sweet spot of like silver, gold. So I've just been so busy. I haven't even had time. You know, I've, I've, continuously farm but i just wasn't saving any time to drop the trophies and i'm i'm in master so it just shows you how effective this is and it's pretty cool it's pretty cool because you um you still get that you know you get that bonus so if you get 50 percent or higher where even in masters three you're still getting about 500 you're still getting about 500 de plus just for you know, getting 50%, not to mention all the other dark that you're getting. So it's just been really, really good. Uh, let me see. So for, yeah, so for masters, you get 110 K of each plus 560 dark. Um, and that's if you get 70% or more, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely going really good and pretty soon I'll, I'll be warring in FFS once I get my Inferno Towers dropped, one more AQ level is going to be absolutely insane. But in the meantime, I just wanted to get this video out to you guys to show you guys my progress. I know, you know, a lot of people have been asking me how the Town Hall 10 is going, you know, what have, what have I upgrading, what's been going on, how's the farming. So that's pretty much going to sum up everything. 
um, you know, I'm still winning a lot of attacks, getting a lot of raids in, and I am boosting about one to two times a day if I can do it. Minimum at least one boost. I'm doing at least one boost. So at any rate, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this Let's Play Town Hall 10 episode. Definitely wanted to get this out. We do have a war that we have this week, and there it is. It starts in just under four hours. Forge from Steel versus Sons of Anarchy. This is CWO Premier Week 2 underway. If you guys missed the recap of Week 1, make sure you check out that war recap. Uh, in the war against Ledich Tug. So this is going to be an absolute blast. This war is going to be so much fun. But that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, like, comment, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.